Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars, Las Vegas. 1979 was the year. I was nine. Welcome to Celebrity Cars once again. We're located in Las Vegas, uh, halfway between Henderson, Nevada, Summerlin, Nevada, uh, right here off the Strip 7770 Dean Martin Drive. We've got all kinds of fancy cars for sale. We've got muscle cars, modern muscle cars, uh, European vehicles, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, some uh, old movie stars cars, and so on and so forth. Next time you're in town, come check us out. What we have to offer today is this brown 1979 Midget, MG Midget. It's brown, it was just painted not that long ago, folks. I don't know the exact time. Uh, you can go to celebritycars.com, read the description, and find out some more details. But it is a newer paint job. It was just professionally detailed. So uh, the extra sanding down and the, the heavy detail that it needed to be done to bring that brown, brown paint out and make it shine. So uh, it's a beautiful car. Also, uh, we've learned uh, and, uh, that this car, uh, we're told, has now less than 7,000 original miles. So it's a very special car. It seems very, very solid to me. I've driven it around the block already a couple times. It runs great. Uh, it's got you know the putt-putt going on and uh, exactly everything a, a midget uh, should be. So uh, we're, we're really happy to have this car to present this automobile to you. But what I'm doing here, uh, we've changed our, our, our relations here with our videos in the recent months because of everything that's going on. Just in case you don't want to leave the house, you don't want to uh, get off the couch, you've got some money to spend, you've always loved MGs, your favorite brown, uh, and you want it to get up and go right away, well, here, here you have it. And what I'm going to do, I'm like your living, breathing condition report. So we're not going to talk about its history and all that kind of stuff. We're going to talk about the paint, the bumpers, the chrome, the new t newer top, um, the, the seats, the upholstery, and all that stuff. And we're going to get uh, acquainted with this just in case you just want to make a phone call and have it arrive in your driveway. So we've only had this car a couple days. You can look at Celebrity Cars website and see 80-plus uh, photographs of it. In the detail, video cameras only do so much, but when you have extra eyes like you have mine, then you can understand what we're going to accomplish here. So if this is a car that you'd really like to take home, then I would uh, listen to the following. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at this front bumper. I'm not really sure what it was supposed to look like brand new, how black it was supposed to be. It is all one very uniform black color. It doesn't look like anybody spray painted it or anything. It looks uh, original and context, um, uh, it's uh, you know got its uh, normal small little cracking going on that we're picking up with the video camera, I'm sure right now. I'm not positive if any of these lines were really actually built into it. It gives it more of like a grainy kind of feel that it almost should be, I'm not really sure. If you're looking at this car to possibly purchase, you're the MG expert. Uh, I'm just going over, uh, we don't have any scratches down here. Okay, I don't feel any underneath. Obviously, this isn't very low to a curb. Um, this is a very small car. Uh, we push it around the showroom very easily if we need to. Um, but there's no abrasions underneath here. It all feels really good. If you come all the way down here to the bottom, you can see this whole lower fascia here is here. It's solid. I'm going to do some knocking on this car today because we don't know, you know, how the car was built. Uh, when it was put back together because of the new paint job and such. But underneath here, from what I can see so far, I mean, man, it looks wonderful. Uh, I don't even see any re surface rust whatsoever. Okay, let's talk about the headlights. The headlight chrome is good, I'm going to call it. It's not perfect, it's not bad. Um, some chrome polish uh, uh, has been used, and I think uh, this is about as shiny as they're going to get. Um, maybe you have some special stuff at home that you can do use on your own. Uh, headlights look terrific on both sides and the chrome is uh, equal on both sides. Now um, let's start to work our way up the paint. I've got some leftover wax here that I'm moving out of the way with my fingernail. Um, I see a really small little chip right here in the new paint scheme um, but it is very minor. I never noticed that until just now that I'm um, down on my hands and knees here, pretty much going over this car into detail. So that's a little chip and little mark number one. But other than that, join me. Uh, this is, look at this black, brown paint. It's really nice. Uh, 
it's an MG, folks, and uh, you know, there's no big gashes or scratches in this entire hood. It's all a, a really good uh, coating and equal coating, and uh, I don't know how you see it on, on film, but it, it looks wonderful, okay? We're gonna go down the driver's side uh, first and get a good look at all this paint. Uh, Again, uh, we've got some wax that's stuck to some extra sections. I've got a little itty bitty nick here, super hard to see. Um, I think I'm getting entirely too detailed here. Um, small little paint mark there, small little paint mark there. All this rubber along here is in okay condition. The uh, windshield wipers, um, we've got a little loosey goosey here, but uh, they are in okay condition. There's three of them across the board there, isn't that cool? Uh, back down here to the side of the car. Folks, I've got a, a big... Uh, I got a solid car here, folks. You're going right along the ride here with me. All this is all in really nice shape. I've got my finger across the bottom. I don't feel any rust bubbles whatsoever, even on the extra in, inlay lip, this one down here, all the way across the bottom. It's all very nice and smooth as in it was just painted and I don't feel any mountains or uh, small mountains of any kind of surface rust of any kind. All these stickers have been, on, been put on real nice. They're all in really nice shape. Got some wax in some of the creases, um, which of course we would have after a fresh detail and in different light. So we've, yes, we've got some extra wax. This is just wax, folks. Maybe a, a itty bitty little uh, chip right there. The side view mirror is nice and black. Man, it almost looks like it was purchased, uh, like a new one was purchased, it's super sharp. There's some chrome underneath here, folks. It's got a, a small bit of pitting going on, but no, no big deal. It's, uh, it's just getting started. The door handle chrome is in really nice shape as well as the keyhole. I'm working my way down here. It looks like we've got a little missing. Uh... Okay, I'll let you just take a look at that on your own. Not really sure what's going on there, but it's no big deal. Uh, I didn't notice it once again until I was all the way down here on the ground. Uh, we'll get back to these wheels. I'm pretty sure all these wheels, I mean, look at, look at this sucker. It's beautiful, the chrome cap. They look, uh, you know, freshly painted. Maybe they were done when the car was painted, okay? But they all look this nice. There's no crap in the, in the spokes or anything like that. Super, super nice. Um, I'm starting to buy uh, the fact that this is an a, a, a under 7,000 mile car. Okay, we're gonna... All one sound. Sounds good to me. Um, this is uh, in good condition, this chrome around the side marker. And we've got great paint, S couple really itty bitty, itty bitty chips here, folks. Little, every now and then I see a real small one. I know the video camera will pick them up. I got some dust left over from when we put the top down in the wax job sitting here, but over here, it looks like a really small mark there and there, super small. The chrome for the uh, luggage rack in the back is, uh, is good, uh, not brand new, uh, not bad. There's barely any pitting in it. It's nice and it's pretty much smooth to the touch uh, and it is an overall good shape. You're seeing what I'm seeing. Let's take a look at the back end. These uh, the lens covers are pretty difficult to find um, and they're in fabulous shape. Um, uh, the screws look good. Uh, the lenses, nothing's broke on either side, and uh, and they look good. A little, uh, maybe a small crack in this one here, but uh, wow, uh, if 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 I weren't doing what I'm doing, I don't think anybody would notice that. Uh, right across the whole back, the brown paint looks good. Uh, very proud to have this. Uh, somebody checking it out from from behind you. This all looks terrific. The chrome is nice and shiny. Very small markings in the chrome, if any. Um, the brackets around the license plate look good. The tail light, uh, the tail lights, uh, rear tail light, uh, lights uh, look nice. And this whole black bumper is the exact same condition that the front one's in. So uh, I guess, you know, I, I, now that I'm back here, 
seeing this back bumper, um, it's, it's very literally the equivalent to the front bumper. And plus the front bumper, I'll also say, uh, it, it barely has any road wear. Um, this car barely has any road wear, uh, you know, from normal driving, the normal marks that you get from a used car even today. There's barely any road wear on this car, so it's super sharp. This, all this rubber back here looks terrific. I'm going to work my way around to the passenger side. I see the, the exhaust tip looks good sticking out the back here. Work our way up the passenger side to the front of the car, back here. Um, I, I don't really want to touch the paint a whole lot, but this is just left over from, uh, uh, from, from the detailing. A uh, little more left over from the detailing down here. It's just some powdered, uh, powdered wax. Uh, we're going to... Run my hand up underneath here. Uh, once again, for, I don't, I, n nothing that even makes me go, oh, it might be a little surface rust. Nothing. Nothing. It's actually surprising. Back here at this wheel, super. Working my way down the passenger side of the car, once again, we have some leftover wax. If you could see that in the video, it's just leftover wax. Nice, beautiful brown paint. And these stickers all the way down, all intact, all nice and tight to the car. Nothing sounds funny. No Bondo. I don't hear anything. You heard what I heard, all the same tone, all the way around. These emblems on both sides, although just a hair bit of wear, only for its age, but other than that, they are in super shape. Here you have it. Okay, now, um, what was brought to my attention a little earlier, um, since this car was just all shined up, um, this, it does have a little hair scratch down this front passenger side front fender, okay? Um, I, uh, can we see it in the, in the lens good? Okay, great, we can see it. It goes from about here down to about approximately here. It's really difficult to see. Um, our professional video team uh, picked it out earlier and I wanted to make sure that you knew about it. Now the reason why I'm bringing it up is because this car was just detailed and uh, if they didn't get it out, I'm not positive that you're gonna get it out. But it seems to me that it could be something that could uh, get some attention. Talk to us if you wanna buy this car, we'll see if we can get this uh, additional little mark out of it. This is the only one on the car, folks, except for these little itty bitty spots. Okay, uh, let's go back up to the windshield. And uh, this, uh, this, I'm not sure if this is just supposed to be a polished aluminum along here or this is supposed to be chrome plated. Uh, either way, the condition that it's in now, I'm gonna say is good again, along with this whole strip across the bottom. Um, there's a rubber gasket that goes along, folks, with this whole thing all the way around. If you could look down here, uh, there's just a slight bit of wear to this gasket. It's not terrible, it is still there. It's not flailing off like, you know, we're actually very much uh, used to seeing these cars. Uh, and take one more step down, this rubber gasket across the bottom is it feels nice and smooth to me with moisture left in it. It's not getting ready to break and brittle apart. Uh, while we're here, uh, if we could uh, take a real quick look at the VIN number here. I'm not sure any of us even found that yet, but there it is up there on the dashboard. Okay, you can check that out at celebritycars.com too to get the exact VIN down. Then while you're there as well, you can also look at the top of the dash pad. It's nice and black and all one solid piece all the way across. There's not any crud on any of the corners, any extra glue sticking out or anything like that. It's very, very nice. If somebody took this car apart and put it back together again, actually did a very difficult, very, very nice job. Okay, um, well, let's dive into the interior. Now, once again, there's a lot of photographs about this in, uh, on this interior. Um, it is not perfect. I'm going to say that the carpet looks really good. It's a nice brown carpet. Uh, it it's, feels nice to the touch. I guess there's just some wearing maybe where the park brake is here. But overall, I, I, you're looking into the back too, and I know that there's photographs here. It looks, looks like some added nice speakers, which are pretty cool. Um, the carpet is really generally in really nice shape. It, it would not need replacing or anything of the sort. 
Now the seats are a, a small different story. Uh, you can hear my hand against them. Um, the seats are in good condition. Uh, I'm looking for a little bit more moisture in them, but they're not cracking or brittling apart. I hope you're paying attention to my hands here. Um, I'm going to call it satisfactory, okay? It's all one good seat. Uh, really mild abrasions in it. There's a mark here. Um, it looks like a little drip of paint, to be honest. Um, this door panel, I can see, uh, hanging my head upside down, looks pretty good, too. Um, it feels nice. This seat is generally okay, folks. Um, and the driver's seat, uh, we can see, has some significant surface wear done to it. But I don't see uh, any of the stitching coming apart. I see it's still safe to sit in. I've sat in this seat multiple times now. It's a comfortable seat. Uh, I'm five foot ten myself. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get in and out, which you would gather. Uh, but uh, sitting in here is just fine for me. Um, it's, it's comfy to, I, I didn't even have to move the seat back or move it forward or any of those things. We got a manual transmission in here, so you got to shift, so you, you got to be kind of comfortable. But, uh, you know, I'm five foot ten. Uh, I fit in snug in here, uh, nice and comfortable once, once you get in the car. Um, the gauges, I'm sure we've got some close up photographs of. Uh, we'll get to it a little later to make sure that they all work. Uh, which ones work and which ones don't. Um, got an aftermarket stereo system in here, hence the aftermarket speakers in the back. And uh, this whole dash pad uh, looks terrific. I don't, I don't know how it could look any better. Um, I don't see any splits in it or cracks. Uh, it's all one piece, and I think it looks really nice. Um, these, uh, these visors um, are, uh, um, uh, they're, 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 I'm gonna call them good. <laughs> uh, they have moisture to them. They're nice and clean. They're black. Uh, they seem a little brittle, uh, but maybe that's you know exactly how they were made. I'm going to kind of sort of leave them alone. But uh, they seem fine. They dislocate themselves, so you can move it over to the other side, and so a little loose. But uh, overall, they're fine. The rearview mirror looks in good shape. The black around it's nice. It needs a little bit of shine job with some uh, you know interior stuff to shine it up a little bit nicer. But it's in good shape. Uh, the convertible top, I'm just going to kind of sort of pull it up a little bit. Uh, I know we got some photographs of it, uh, of it up. Um, I'm just pulling it up so you can get an idea that this is, uh, you know, kind of sort of, I'm not sure if it's new. It could be original to the car, but I'm going to call it kind of sort of new. It's in beautiful shape. It uh, latches up real nice. And, uh, the, you know, this back uh, uh, plastic here is also clear. This has to be newer to the vehicle. All the snaps and buttons look nice as well. And one more look down in here in this lower compartment, if you haven't gotten that yet in the back. It's actually very attractive back there where the speakers are. And uh, we're going to address the inside of this door panel here. It looks just as good as the passenger side. I don't see any dark marks or rips or tears. It's not falling off anywhere. It's all in pretty good shape. These door jams, um, you know, if, if I were a detailer, go ahead in there. If I were a detailer, I would have climbed in there and cleaned those door jams just because I'm kind of weird like that. But just seeing that they're dirty and I don't see any rust in here. Uh, while you're there, I'm going to stick my finger down in here. This is just, you know, a, 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 hopefully to appreciate. Um, you know, a little bit of dirt in here, but it's all nice and clean and I don't feel any rust all the more reason to believe that this car uh, has been very, very, very well taken care of, uh, even when it was redone and, uh, you know, kept clean for the most part, so nothing rusts and so on and so forth. So a little bit of wear on this strap right here so the door doesn't fly completely open and uh, bang into the side of the car. But, you know, I kind of sort of take that as, uh, you know, this is a, a car that's been kept in a dry climate and, uh, and, and well taken care of. Uh, my, my personal view. Uh, we didn't look at the front two wheels at all yet, um, but they are in just the exact same condition as the rear ones that I, I know that we touched on. There aren't any curb rash on either of them. It's kind of hard to get near a curb on this car because it's so small to begin with, but uh, it's happened.
Okay, let's figure out how to get the hood open. We'll take a look at the engine and then we'll take a quick glance into the trunk. Hey, that was pretty easy. All right. Now one last latch here, I'm sure. You can watch me struggle with getting open. Hey, good guess. All right. Got an extra clamp on here to keep it up. And there's your power plant to your 1979 MG. Now I've let you take a look around. Notice all these extra panels here, how solid they are with their brown paint and no rust. Even in here, boy, this car looks like it only has uh, just under 7,000 original miles in the engine compartment here. Um, to learn more about this engine and its status, celebritycars.com, MG. Scroll down till you find this brown sucker and then you can learn all about it. Okay, let's pop open the trunk. And do me a favor and get a real nice walk around as best you can of both of these inside of these wells here and uh, share with our viewers that uh, there's no rust in here. Okay, now next we're going to uh, we're going to go for a ride in this car, and if you're lucky, we're going to have a video, a short video of the condition of the undercarriage of the car, just to make sure we don't have any rust or uh, anything that we don't know about. So we're going to get it up on the lift. I've just decided, and that'll be a part of this video as well. So keep watching. We're going to go for a quick ride. And we'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've gotten ourselves into this 1979 midget, MG midget. Here we are, brown, tan leather interior, brown carpet. We're gonna go for a quick ride so you guys at home can make sure that this thing makes it around the block. How about it? Clutch is in, I'm gonna turn the key. We're starting off in the showroom here, right where we filmed at the uh, descriptions and such and we're gonna drive outside and uh, cruise on down the road, okay? So my foot's are in the uh, uh, clutch, clutch is in, turn in the key, light, dash is lighting up. We've got a power antenna, it's working its way up over here. Every time I turn the car on and off, that power antenna goes up and down. So if you want to, one of your questions, where does the power antenna work, the answer is yes. Okay. So I started it. I didn't put. I didn't give it any gas or anything like that. It's not really warmed up. Give it a little rev right there. I'm gonna engage first gear. And start to pull out of the showroom. I don't have a whole lot of gas in here, so we're just gonna go for a quick lap around the building. My temperature gauge is still showing cold. I'm giving my RPMs a good little wind up here, but I'm not seeing the RPM gauge work, folks. So the RPM gauge does not work, and uh, we'll find out if the uh, speedometer works in just a moment. Okay, my foot's off the clutch, I'm in first gear. Okay, our speedometer does work. First gear, there's second. Ah, 
<laughs> I don't know why I get such a kick out of brakes, folks. Okay, so I didn't stop on a dime, but the brakes work very well. They're extremely smooth. Um, uh, if you were in a, a quick situation, you'd be able to stop this car, no problem. I hit them uh, pretty hard. I didn't exactly slam on them. Sorry about the vibration. I really like to make that go away. A um, little vibration going on in here. I'm sure it's just a, a part of the convertible top, something like that. No big deal. Um, I got my RPMs back up just to make that little vibration go away. Um, but it's, it's nothing bad. I'm just trying to talk over the car. Okay, <clears throat> so here I sit. Now the RPMs work. I don't know how to tell you, but when I first started driving, the RPMs were not registering, but right now they're working just fine. Okay, clutch is back in, in first gear. start this car from uh, cold so um, uh, I, I think with a very small tune-up uh, this car will run super smooth there's no valve taps going on uh, I'm not really aware of what the uh, extra little rattle is in here uh, if you're super interested in this car we can uh, we can find that out together call us at 702-818-1031 uh, and uh, we can go over this car a little more in detail for you. Uh, like I said, it's uh, 6,994 miles uh, on the uh, on how many miles this car has been used. And that's what we've been told. And it really feels that way. It's got a couple little things that it's going to need, uh, but they're very minor, just some adjustments. Very solid car, very nice. Give us a call, we'd be happy to talk to you about it. Thanks very much.